Mm. I might be being really stupid here, but I've just genuinely found something that's kind of interesting, quite useful, but incredibly simple and obvious in DaVinci Resolve, which I genuinely didn't know about before. Now, as I say, I might just be being a bit stupid because now that I know about it, now that I think about it, it's incredibly obvious. But I didn't know about it before, so maybe it's not that obvious. Now, if you do already know about this, let me know down in the comments below just to confirm that I am indeed an idiot. Now, if you didn't already know about this, let me know down in the comment section as well, because then I'll know that this video wasn't a complete waste of time. So what is it that I'm rambling on about? Let me open up DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you. You can change the attributes within the inspector for stuff which isn't yet on your timeline. Is that obvious? Is that really obvious? It's obvious, isn't it? Isn't it? So check it out. I've got this folder full of photos. If I double click on this one here, I can open up the inspector and I can zoom. I can change the rotation, pitch, your, I can crop, I can enable dynamic zooms, I could do all sorts of stuff that you usually would do. Now it gets cool because you can apply it to everything within a folder or anything that you click on. So I'm going to double click on this image here, just as an example, so that I can see it within my preview window. Then I'm just going to click on anything in here, control and A to make sure everything is selected. Then I can just go to my inspector, I can change the zoom, so let's zoom out. Let's change the rotation angle a little bit just for the hell of it. Let's enable the dynamic zoom and change it to ease in and out and then let's just lower the opacity. So let's say I'm building a slideshow and I want all of these things to happen to all of my images within the folder. I can then just grab them, drop them on my timeline and look, they've all got the rotation angle and if I hit play, they've all already got that dynamic zoom on there. Right? Obvious? Yeah? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I've only just discovered it. I've only just noticed that you can do this. And I think it's quite useful. And I just can't believe I haven't spotted it before. But there's some other cool things, some other handy things that this enables you to do. And they involve power bins. So in this folder, I've got a couple of logos. The DaVinci Resolve logo, for example. Now, it's full size. It's full screen. So what I can do is just zoom this out, move this across, put it in the position that I want it, give or take, rotate it, blah de blah de blah do all this sort of stuff. It's still only within the media pool, it's not on a timeline or anything like that. Now, whenever I grab that from this bin, it's already in that location. Super handy, right? But what I can also do is grab that PNG, drop it straight into a power bin. So now any project that I'm in, I immediately can just go to this folder, grab the PNG, drop it on there. I never need to resize it again because it remembers all of the attributes from the inspector and it's already in the right place. How handy is that? And there's one more thing. <laughs> it works with audio too. So I've got these tracks in here. These are just some general music tracks. So I'm just going to highlight them all. Inspector, volume, minus 20. And then again, drag them all on, put them down here. And straight away you can see minus 20, minus 20, minus 20. <laughs> mind, <laughs> mind blown. So that's mind-blown. Yeah, I didn't know about that. Huh. 